What is up folks? This is Gutsy here with a tutorial video. This one is going to be on mid Pudge. Specifically, this player right here, Godvik Pudge. What makes him unique? Well, not really anything, actually. I just saw a video of him doing a unique Pudge and it's recently come in the spotlight on Reddit and stuff like that, so I'll just explain it a bit. So this Godvik dude, he's got thousands of games on Pudge. Uh, he's like level 22 or something. He's high rank. He's divine. And uh, he's got all the gems and whatnots to go with it. But what really makes this unique is that this Pudge is different from your standard Pudge. No hook. You level rot and flesh heap. And uh, the first player that did this, I'm pretty sure was no one, but I can't confirm it. And then Matumbaman has done his own spin on it also. Um, Dota 2 David Bowie did a video on it on April 17th on the mid pudge that Matumbaman did. And uh, then there was a Reddit thread that followed afterwards. This dude, he started doing this a little bit before Matumba, So I think no one's the one who's the first one to do it, which they probably found it in a pub. Who gives a damn? I'm here to highlight this dude, Godvix Pudge, because I was impressed by it. So hopefully uh, you will be impressed as well. Now let's get on with the video. First condition you want to meet with a Godvik Pudge is you need to make sure that you are a, a counter to the enemy hero in lane. What makes you a counter? Well, you can just pull up a counter's list of Pudge, but the main indicator for Pudge to be a counter against the hero is that it needs to be a melee hero. If you're fighting a ranged like a Queen of Pain, it's going to be very difficult to win your lane. And with this specific mid Pudge build, you're all about bullying and lane dominance, and you can't do that against ranged heroes. So it's there's no point in first picking Pudge and uh, expecting them to pick Queen of Pain and for you to win the lane. It's not going to work if you do this Pudge. So make sure that you are against the melee hero mid and you do counter them. The second thing is, as I've already mentioned, you're about bullying and lane dominance. So in order to do that, you actually don't want hook. Yes, that's right, you are not going to be leveling hook. And yes, that's right, you are going to be leveling flesh heap early game. I know it sounds crazy, but it does work and it's very fun. So level one, you want to get rot. Level two, you'll get your flesh heap. This gives you the regen you want. The rot helps you with last hitting and bullying out the enemy hero. Your third level, now this is where Matumbaman kind of comes into factor. If you want a value point, you can get hook, but hook isn't for bullying or anything. That's kind of for if the opponent fucks up and they're low in HP and they're running away and you want to hook them to get the kill. Otherwise, you want to ignore it because you're focused on bullying in the in the lane. So we'll assume that's the case. Your level 3 will be Rot. Level 4 will be Flesh Heat. Level 5 will be Rot. Level 6 will be your ultimate. Level 7 will be Rot. Level 8 will be Hook. Yes, level 8 is when you normally should be leveling Hook. So you have 2 points in Flesh Heat. Level 9 will be your flesh heap level 10 will be your talent in this case you'll want 30 xp gain because you're all about getting huge you're a mid laner then another point in hook then you'll get a point in your ultimate then you'll get a point in hook hook so you now have maxed out hook and then you'll get a point in flesh stacks you'll then level up spell lifesteal You'll get a point in your ultimate, and then you'll level up your next two talents, which usually you'll want 180 gold and then flesh heap stack strength add-on. Your starting items, you'll want to get a stout shield. You'll want to get a circlet. You'll want to get a gauntlet. So this allows you to tank, take less damage, that's basically what that does. And then based on if your teammates give you tangos or not, otherwise you'll just be getting tangos like this. If your teammates give you tangos, then you could get a fairy fire, you could get a branch with your tangos. These are your starting uh, items. Yes. You'll build into Bracer. That's your very first item that you want to build. You'll then build into Phase Boots. And then you'll build into Atos. And then you'll build into Blade Mail. This is basically the build you're going to be using throughout the most part of the game. 
So you'll have the eight toast for a kill potential. Your phase boots is gonna be pretty early so you could bully in lane and have a movement speed dominance. This makes it so people can obviously turn on you without taking a ton of damage. Now what separates this build from Matumba's is that Matumba, he likes to get a buckler, which I think is really good, but this guy doesn't do it, so I'm not gonna highlight it. But that's up to you, you can get an early game buckler. And then also all pros are obsessed with wand, and I think wand's also a good build. But I think it's dependent on the hero. If you're fighting Alina mid, which you shouldn't be, because that means you're not countering her, then uh, you could go a wand, it just helps for laning phase. But against melee heroes, by all means, go Buckler if you want. Lightning. That Blink is pretty decent, so I think Blink should maybe be your next item. Oh, maybe even before spike. the Blade Mail, you could go Atos Blink. Uh, otherwise, um, he does things like Halberd. He buys uh, Lotus Orb. Stuff like that. Alright, so here we're going to see the first low play here. It ends up with Godfit getting the kill, but he does die. But this just shows uh, the bullying that you want to be doing on Pudge. So I'll play this. Notice the fairy fire use. If he didn't do that, he would have died first. Here is play number two. As you can see, two points in Rot and in Flesh Heap. And because he got a Flesh Heap earlier, He's got a little more lane presence than Ember is normally going to expect. He also got his blade mail for his phase boots first, so that he's more tankier. And Ember dies in lane. So here's gank attempt number three. It's actually not going to go quite as planned, but it still benefits Godvik in the end. So he's going on Ember, but Ember's too close to the tower, so he can't really do too much to him. But behind him is a lion who's decided to gank. But thankfully for him, Bounty Hunter's here. But notice how Godvik's really low, but Ember can't do anything because he's low. So he just gets a free kill on Lion. So here is the fourth attempt. Godvik now has ult, so he's going to use that to his advantage. On the Ember Spirit. Ember's having a real hard time getting away because of this Max and Rot. Godvik's very tanky with his face boots bracer, so he's all good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.